What is up y'all? We are starting off this video today somewhere here in Clearwater, Florida. Yesterday we left our campground which was around like the St. Pete kind of area. Came over here to Clearwater and I heard that there's some clear water. We're gonna find out if that's true here today. But I heard there's actually some pretty good fishing. Uh, a couple of you guys I asked on Instagram, are there any good spots around here? Apparently there's a lot of freaking good spots, man. So today we're gonna be doing some saltwater fishing. We got some bait, we stopped at a bait shop and uh, yeah, I think there's some rocks over here. There's a beach over here. There's some freaking piers, jetties, a bunch of stuff. And there's a bunch of bridges. I guess bridge fishing down here is pretty big. So uh, yeah, man, it's a freaking beautiful day. Blue skies, a little bit of wind. We got the palm tree swaying. Yeah, man, we're gonna see if we get anything to bite. Shh. Excuse me, ma'am. What Hello. do you think about this clear water? All right, so here are the rocks we're gonna be fishing around. Oh, yeah, that is actually pretty clear. Let's just take a second to look how freaking beautiful. You hear that like water gun, got some boat action. Let's listen to that. So I have never fished here before. I don't exactly know what kinds of fish are in here. But let me show you what we got going on. As I said, we stopped at the bait shop. You guys can hear it bubbling. These are the bubbles of life. Finally, we have one of these things. And uh, I mean, I had one. It's a long story. Either way, we got some life bubbles. So that should hopefully keep what is in here alive. Let me show you. Hello? Oh, jeez. That pricked me. How did it prick you? I guess they're like spiky. All right, so that is what we got going on right here. Live freaking shrimp. These dudes are super lively. They just pricked me a little bit. So here's the thing about live shrimp, right? Just about like every species in this body of water should want to eat something like this. I mean, this is just a, a natural part of a lot of these things diet, like a natural forage. So I, I don't know, it's weird at the bait shop, I guess like the shrimp guy's boat sank or something they were saying. So like nowhere had shrimp except for this one bait shop, but they only had like smaller shrimp. So I don't know, we're gonna see if these smaller shrimp do it. I mean, it's live shrimp, you think it would work, right? Can we just freaking take a second? Look at how, like, look at this. What color is that water? Like blue Gatorade mixed with lemonade. This is that blue Gatorade lemonade, man. This is that good, this is a good stuff. So I'll show you guys the rig here in a second, but uh, yeah, we got this loose Custom Inshore. You guys have been seeing me use this a lot. This might be like a little light for what we're trying to do, but maybe that'll make it more fun. I don't know. I literally don't have a freaking clue what we're doing. This is like, this is amazing. Like, look at this right here, dude. Look at that. That is nice. All right, so let me show you real quick the setup that we got. Even look at this, dude, like tiny little baby palm tree. Just like a super tropical clear water area. Like, I, I'm not used to this man back in delaware it's just a little bit different but uh yeah this is the inshore speed stick as i said basically what i'm doing i got braid going to a 20 i think pound fluorocarbon leader we got a uni to uni not connecting that and then we go down here we have a three fourth ounce egg sinker and that's tied to a swivel which is tied to more leader which is tied to this little hook so i guess the idea behind this rig is that the weight can move so uh, if a fish is hooked, it doesn't know it's hooked, especially with the circle hook. Let's get lively dude out of here. I think this should be good, something like that. Dude, look at this water, man. To be completely honest, when you're doing this kind of fishing, like any saltwater fishing, you're gonna wanna look at the tides. I have absolutely no clue what the tide is, don't tell anyone. It's definitely probably pretty snaggy. Hopefully there's some fish out here. Oh well. Am I getting bit already? Oh, we got fish. We got fish. Dude, first cast. First cast. What is that? Oh, come here, bro. Oh, wait, what is that? Is that a sheep's head? Oh, I think he had a friend with him too. Oh my god. Come here, boy. Oh my gosh. I do not know the size limit on these. Let me grab the leader. Oh, that is freaking crazy. Oh my gosh, let me get up here. Come here, boy. I don't know if you guys could see there too well or not. A lot of people refer to these things as having human teeth. These things will destroy you. They use them for like, oh, he's chomping down. They use them for like eating shellfish and crushing barnacles and stuff of that nature. There we go. Start to look right in the side of the mouth. Oh man, I mean, that's not like a big sheep's head, but that's freaking sick. Dude, that was the first guest. Biggest one I think I've seen you catch. Really? I don't, I don't think I've caught any sheep's head before either. I know one time in Florida, I'll link that video up above. I don't remember how big that one was though, but that is so cool, dude. Holy crap. Look at them teeth again though. Oh my gosh. You do not want to put a freaking finger in there. Yeah, let's take a picture real quick. Look how freaking beautiful these fish are too, with them stripes. All right, thank you, buddy. That's freaking good, dude. If you guys could, man. Oh, gosh, I'm about to freaking fall off these things. If you guys could, man, please go down there. Smash the crap out of that thumbs up button for that first. That's the first cast, dude. Also, man, if you are not yet already, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to go down there. Click that subscribe button. It's completely free. And, uh, yeah, that's the only way to know how I upload 
new videos and you know to keep up to date and stuff. But yeah, on this smaller setup too, that's so fun. Alright. Let's get out there. Not too too far. Oh my god, there's so many little tiny bait fish right there. What the heck? Oh, did I just get bit again? This shrimp is not having it right now. He is freaking out. No. Casting like right into the unseeable area. The shrimp is going nuts though. Yeah, oh, he's getting hit right now. Hello? Did he eat the shrimp? I think they took the shrimp. <sighs> Definitely bait stealers. I gotta bring that. Maybe I should bring the bucket down here. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but that's, I think, their brain right there. It's kind of like a interesting looking color. I just put this hook up right there. Not going through that and they can still flip around and flail around and do shrimp stuff. Right. Get this back out there. Oh yeah, what the heck? It's like a shark boat. That one sheep said that saw his homie get yoinked. I wonder if he like told the squad. Actually, I felt a bite. Did he take my... Yeah, he did. These things steal the freaking thing so fast. All right, so if the audio sounded like super crusty before now, uh, that's just me being really good at making videos. I apologize about that. Oh, we just had a fish on. Probably stole my freaking, yep. Mm, try to hook him near the tail. It seems almost like they're kind of smart. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. Can they see the hook? <sighs> Holy. I don't know, I feel like live is the best, especially when it comes to like multi-species. Maybe I should cut some of these up. So that like the hookup ratio might be a bit better. Come on, take it. Did I get one? Oh, I think I got one. I got something. Wait, what the heck is that? What is, oh, come here, boy. This is what's been stealing me. The baby sheepy. I think size limit here is 12 inches. I think the first one would have met that. I definitely don't think this one though. Literally right through the bottom of it. Somehow, I feel like usually it's in the top of the mouth. Yeah, that's the beautiful thing of those circle hooks. So hopefully these fish should be perfectly fine. But dude, those things are so cool looking. Ugh. They're like bluegill, but saltwater and fight way harder. They got those like stripes, like they're convicts. Not too bad. A lot of shrimp have gone down so far though. Oh my god. With the circle hook, you're supposed to like just reel in, not exactly like yoink it. Oh, like set the hook. God, this guy's frisky. But it's like tough because I feel like I need to set the hook. So they're just so quick at it. All right, this is the one. This is the freaking one, dude. PB Sheeper. Wonder what else is like down here though. There we go, there we go. What is that? Oh my God, that is fighting. Hello? Okay. Wait, is that the... Yup. <sighs> Holy freaking crap, dude. Yet again, I don't think this one's a keeper, but look how thick. Look at that freaking belly, dude. Oh, right in the corner of the mouth there. They're definitely chomping. Not the PB, but that shrimp did some work. Dude, those teeth. Oh my God, I cannot even imagine putting my freaking finger there dude i'm gonna throw one or two more shrimp in here i want to see if kelsey can hook up to one one of my favorite parts about adventuring and 
making these videos just like trying new and different kind of things you know whether it's pond fishing bay ocean whatever the heck this is clear water fishing trout fishing which i'm so excited for when we get up there to the mountain areas and dang it dude they're just so fast i cannot wait to get to freaking alaska if you guys are not familiar with the channel or if you haven't been following or anything basically my girlfriend and i or i guess my fiance oh dang it dude we bought a travel trailer camper and uh we are basically going around the country making videos started in delaware right now we're in florida and uh we're gonna be going west we should be going west from here there's an email though down in the description below uh if you guys want to fish with me or if you have any good spots you think i should check out along the way make sure to send over an email to that email i want to fish as many of you guys as possible and uh yeah this is it's, i'm so happy i'm so blessed to be able to do this this is just this is crazy dude all right let's see if this shrimp gets bit i want to i want to try to get kelsey on one too oh see there was the bite is that it comes and goes that quick that is so crazy let me show you real quick like it's super super fast so i cast it out right there it's like a tiny see right there i just got it. i think the shrimp oh, see he's gone already you want to go on my rock when i say you got to be quick like you got to be super so we're here. You, you good at casting it? Just cast out, reel it up so you feel that, like so there's no slack. And then right when you feel something, just almost reel it in instantly. Oh, we got gotcha. you. No, we didn't take it. Oh, we didn't take it. I didn't let it. Oh, I had one. <laughs> I wonder what all these other people out here are fishing for. There's a lot of people, I'm looking down to the right and left of these rocks, but they don't look like they're sheep's head fishing, so. Makes me wonder. All right, that area where you cast that was pretty good last time. It was like a little closer. Just don't do too close to all those rocks right there. Oh, I got you got one? one? Oh, oh. Came off. All right, that's a really beautiful shrimp right there. They're really quick. Yeah, it's. This is what I was talking about. Like every kind of fishing is so unique in its own way. Like this, you gotta be so fast. Oh, oh, oh got you got one. it. I got one. You got it. I got one. All right, play it easy. Oh, is that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that in. That's a nice one. <laughs> let me get it for you. Let's go. First sheep set ever. One. Yeah. Hold on. Let me grab him for you. He's a cold one. He just feels cold. Uh, where are those pliers? Whoa! All right, y'all. That is Kelsey's first ever sheep's head right there, man. That, uh, it took you not even that long to catch it either. They're, they're very tricky. So we're finding out, but yeah, man. I think that's, I mean, honestly, that's almost 12 inches too. That might be a keeper. We're going to get it back in there. I mean, it's a smaller one, but that's nice. Yeah. I caught that. Let me get that thing back in there. All right. She's going to cast it out again a little bit. The thing about florida fishing kelsey they might not all be sheep's head who knows man it's the freaking ocean oh i got one. Ooh, you got it i got one Let's go. fish on what is it is oh, another one it's really heavy oh that's a bigger one. Oh. oh we need to loosen that drag a little bit i didn't think that that was actually a big one wasn't it that was heavy we're seeing some stuff jump here too i don't know what is going on that was pretty close That's sketchy. I might have snagged this. Oh my gosh. Is there a fish? Yeah. Oh, that was right by the rocks. Dude, you see, you see how the, the uh, drag is more like. Yeah. That's better. That's a decent fish. Yeah, they want to go into that rock. This is definitely a keeper. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is really nice fun. Dude, look at this freaking sheep's head. All right, y'all. That was actually pretty crazy. That dude is like 14 and a half inches. We just measured him. We're gonna actually take this dude back and do, do a little something special. So as usual, uh, I was a bit unprepared to 
today as yeah Kelsey yeah I, I'm unprepared a decent amount for a lot of decent amount of things I didn't expect like I didn't know if we were gonna be catching fish or not so when we actually started catching like kind of keeper shy I was like yo we gotta do a catch and cook we actually ended up catching that pretty nice sheep's head at the end there what the heck yeah that was a freaking beautiful area I'll definitely be coming back there that was super sick and uh we actually made a super quick pit stop at some like beachy store like it had like the boogie boards in the windows just like a beach store and it picked up some ice right now we got the sheep's head in two bait buckets and uh we got the ice in there and it's just chilling right now then we're gonna go back fillet it and i think we're gonna be doing something interesting that i've never done before like ever so michael called a restaurant i didn't know that people did this but i guess if you catch a fish and you fillet it yourself you can take it to the restaurant and they'll cook it. Like, yeah, so down here, that's the thing, I guess. Like, if you catch fish, I don't know if it's just like a Florida thing or like a by the water type thing, like salt water. But if you catch a fish, you can bring it to places. This one that we called, uh, you gotta fillet it first. So we're gonna fillet it and, uh, yeah, man, hopefully, I, I don't know. Hello? Like, I wonder if they, like, all the fish stuff on their menu or if they have like a separate menu for like, bring your fish there or something? I don't know, so we're gonna go over there and try to figure this out, hopefully get some freaking fire food. Jeff first state's on a vacation right now, man. It is, it's a palm tree life, we're just vibing out here. We just need some food. All right, so we found a random parking lot. Uh, we're just gonna fill this up super quick. I watched a YouTube video. What I meant to say earlier though is that this like kind of fishing reminds me sort of almost like uh, tow tog fishing back up in Delaware, which I actually never caught a keeper tog to catch and cook. I was so freaking close. The scales and skin is so freaking tough on these things, but this is what we got right here. Two fillets, I mean, it wasn't the biggest fish, but uh, yeah, I mean, whatever they could do with that, it's gonna be pretty good. I, I had to take all the bones out and everything. They have like a thing of pin bones that are pretty freaking big. I don't even know if that's considered pin bones, but yeah, these scales are tough, dude. Let's get over to the restaurant and see if they'll even accept it. I don't, I don't freaking know. All right, we're at the restaurant right now. We got the sheep's head. Again, it's so much smaller. Then it was when I like saw it. I don't know, in my head, it was a lot more meat than that. Maybe I'm just not the best cutter. I don't know, I cut it pretty good now. Good, how are you? Good, I'm Taylor, I'm I have a question too. So we just were fishing and we caught uh, this. <laughs> would, we, would it be possible to get this cooked? Yeah, we do, um, I think it's like seven bucks a pound. That's how we charge, but you can do it however you want. You can black and fry it or grill. Oh, awesome, okay. Oh, thank thank you. you. She's probably like, what the heck? We were just fishing and we caught that. Now we're at a restaurant and they're gonna cook it up for us. I don't know if it's gonna be better than Chef First State. I don't even know, can you see me? Hello? There's Kelsey, we're at a restaurant right now. This is crazy, dude. All right, y'all. So we literally, what the heck are you doing there? <laughs> so we just got the fish back. Oh my gosh. So we got half fried and half uh, blackened. So I guess that's more of like a cajun -y style seasoning. We got this like, sauce right here let me show you the presentation we also got some pretzel bites and i got a uh, clam shrimp platter shout out to this restaurant dude that is what we just caught out of the ocean and then over here they got the pretzel bites what do you think of that it looks good yeah it does look good yeah we are uh yeah no i don't know shepherd states needs to work on his frying game a little bit and blackened game holy crap look at this look at that right there oh it's hot too are you ready where's the sauce Tartar. I'm guessing yeah, he has some charge harder yeah. sauce. If you guys were wondering, it was seven dollars uh, to cook your own fish per pound. This is definitely not a pound, but um, I mean that's like a freaking good sized fish. I'm gonna take a bite. Should I dip it in anything or should I just bite it? Bite it. All right, here we go. Fresh caught um, sheep's head, live shrimp. Holy crap! That's definitely my sheep's head. I need to inspect. Oh my god. That is like amazing. Like that is so good. That's good. Is it? Let me try that too. Like this is undoubtedly the sheep's head because this is way tinier. This is freaking amazing. I wish I could have went back there in the kitchen and kind of, you know, watched them cook it. That is a certified first date 10 out of 10. And we got the pretzel bites on deck. Oh my. We got some more seafood, but oh my gosh. Let me get another bite of this. I didn't even eat it with the uh, lemon yet either. They gave us a lemon. I'm a big lemon guy. It's like 
So freaking good, dude. I am like amazed. So freaking good. Oh my goodness. What do you got there? Whew, all right, dude, that was actually really really freaking good shout out uh, to molly molly goodheads out here somewhere in clear water one of you guys actually told me to come here so we stopped by they cooked the fish i was a little skeptical at first i was like i don't know is that the sheep's head is that not i think definitely like we were reviewing it that was definitely the fish i caught it's just like i don't know it's so easy i feel like for them just to like cook another fish but upon further review kelsey was right it, that was definitely the fish it was just tasted so good i couldn't believe that like we caught that i think it just looked a lot bigger because it was like super uh like thick coated and batter yeah super coated what do you think uh i thought it was really good the blackened and the fried were both really good yeah that dude i would recommend that you guys are freaking nuts man we are here early in the morning at the post office this is the day right after the launch of uh, the bluegill buffet shirts Kelsey and I stayed up really late last night hand packaging each and every one. Look, at, dude, there are so many freaking orders right here and we have so many more. Like we got more overnight as we were sleeping in this morning that we still have to go pack. So we're at this tiny little post office right now and uh, yeah, man, this is absolutely freaking insane though. Literally, we are almost sold out. This goes deep, like deep, deep. Just a few random people, I did this on Instagram too. Shout out to Carla from Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, shout out to Brian from Newark, Delaware. And also, Shout out to Chris from Arlington, Texas. Thank you guys so much for all the support, man. It really does help out the journey and it's gonna be so sick to see you guys rocking these. If you did get one, send me a picture of you rocking it and I'll repost it on Instagram. Yeah, man, we're gonna go see if this tiny little post office will take all these freaking packages. You wanna know just where? Well.